Hi guys, welcome back to Deep Junk Garage. I'm your host, Regular Bob. Um, this week, not a whole lot going on on the bench. Um, just car-wise, anyway, it was a busy week. Uh, weather's getting nicer, some projects going on outside, some family things going on. Uh, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to a couple friends of mine. Uh, Jason Hayes hooked me up with a nice uh, microphone to do some uh, recording with. Uh, Brian Rita, we got together and uh, worked on Jason's car this week a little bit. Um, gave me some good uh, tips and advice on filming, filming and editing. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Um, also new this week, I'm on Instagram. Instagram account uh, centered around the diecast stuff it's a uh, deep junk garage deep underscore junk underscore garage so if you use Instagram at all go over there and check that out um, the 55 Chevy I went uh, hemi shopping um, it's set in there right now it's a nice cast piece out of a Hot Wheels uh, altered state uh, it had to be massaged a little bit to get it to sit down in there. This is a uh, let's see. I had to cut the base of that. Yeah, took the motor out and left the base, I should say, uh, so I could use the fender well headers in the car. Um. I did, I don't know if you can see in there, because I blacked it out, but uh, I did lose the brake master cylinder um, to fit the Hemi in there. It does, uh, it does eat up a lot of real estate, um, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I didn't want a plastic engine in it, uh, so that's coming along pretty good. The saga of the 55 continues. Maybe this year it will be done sometime. 2019 what do you guys think and uh, what's next Land Rover Whoa. there we go Land Rover um, the chassis I slotted the chassis uh, so the axles would sit down deeper uh, get the truck up higher those new wheels and tires those are just regular um, matchbox off another truck uh, got it to sit uh, half waist decent um, the chassis was blacked out and I added a tailpipe back there it goes out on the left side a little uh, detail on the muffler and exhaust there are uh, usually I don't know what you call them little uh just sit behind the wheels like uh, guards or something would probably keep the wheel from when you play with it hard keep the wheel from folding under and bending the axle i usually shave those off uh, just to give it a cleaner look when you look at it from the underside there just cleans it up real nice added a spare tire I uh, see a lot of these they run a spare tire either up on the hood or on the back tailgate uh, I thought it'd be cool to put one up on the hood so I took one of the wheels the stock wheels that came on it shaved it down drilled the hood just dropped the axle through the hood and bent it up under and put a little dab of glue on it under there um, probably do away with that hubcap that's on it but uh, that'd be awful glare on the Sun when you drive with that thing going to use the stock roof rack that came with it it's got some cool stuff on it it's got a light bar up top uh, just detail it uh, but I am going to make a light bar for the front bumper and put a couple lights out front do the uh, those marker light turn signal things up on the front fender some more bumper detail uh, so that one's coming along pretty good then we got uh, saw this one I did a short video showing that uh, just how I stripped the 
the paint. Um, I use a, uh, if you missed it, I use an aerosol stripper, clean strip, um, to to strip the cars. Now it's something that I had used in the shop, and uh, so I just continue to use. I see that there are some citrus, cit excuse me, citrus strippers. That's a mouthful. Citrus stripper that is uh, safe around the skin it doesn't uh, burn you know chemical burn uh, so I may look into something like that or even like some of the, the strippers that you guys use that are a gel that you just brush on if it's a citrus it doesn't uh, um, chemical burn um, then I may look into that seems a lot safer if, especially if it does the same thing it's it's worth it nothing much going on with this uh, the wrecker um, no paint for it yet and I'll have to get a hook, so it's kind of sidelined right now. And then jumping the line, introduced um, the Challenger. Uh, the Challenger I have paint and wheels for now, so I'm excited about that. We'll get it going. It won't be a, uh, a restoration, so to speak, but uh, that'll be a cool custom. Um, uh, something to, uh, something I'm, I'm excited about it it's gonna be part restoration uh, and that the uh, like that bottom the base on this car is all corroded before I do anything with it I'm gonna try some um, I don't know what you guys is that lime out or lime away and uh, clean that up But I'm excited to get on that and uh, to use some of the techniques that I learned here. Um, and there's another piece of equipment I want to get so I can start filming more of uh, the build process. Um, I don't really think I need to show like drilling out posts and stuff, but um, so you guys can see, everybody likes to see, you know, if you're building parts like for the the, the truck, the you know, light bar or something like that, it's, it's always cool to, to uh, be able to show. And last but not least, this week, again, when I introduced the Challenger, I had uh, introduced the, the Chevy Stepside muscle truck number three. Uh, the first one I had sold off. Um, the second one I, I gave to my good buddy Brian that I mentioned earlier for his birthday and uh, had one uh, in reserve, brand new in the package. So I have wheels for it, so I'm going to start on it. Um, show the the build through it, the process through it, lowering the truck, getting rid of that rear bumper, all seven different colors that go on it, and that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I did uh, learn this week was kind of a, a kind of a disappointment, not 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 bad, but uh, David Freiberger was on Instagram and had said that uh, answered the question. I guess he does not own muscle truck anymore. Um, he said the company, which I assume is the production company for uh, Motor Trend or whoever, Motor Trend itself, whoever whoever does this production, I would guess, owns the truck. And, and, it, and it only makes sense because if you, the truck's got to travel around to events and shows and stuff, logistics and insurance, the it would probably be easier if the, the production company owned it instead of a, an individual for things like that. Um, it's no no big deal to me. It's just a little a little bit of a disappointment that he didn't own it. Um, it won't change my opinion. I love the truck. It's uh, pretty much every Chevy truck I ever owned. When I when I see muscle truck, I think about every truck I've ever had. Multiple colors, loud. You know, just a good truck. Um, so that's about it for this week, guys. Not a whole, not a whole lot. Um, I'm, like I said, I, I appreciate uh, the help from my friends and getting uh, some of this stuff straightened out, getting uh, some of the filming, editing, the microphone, stuff like that. Um, again, if you're uh, using Instagram, please go over and check me out over there, Deep, Deep Junk Garage. Um, if you like what's going on here, you just you're just checking it out. 
uh, like and subscribe uh, for anybody who's come back for more thank you I appreciate you uh, and I will check you guys out in the next one thanks so much